Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create better sales dashboards using Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. In other words, we're gonna talk about how we can move away from very clunky, hard to use dashboards like these to beautiful, very easy to build dashboards like these. Okay, so stick with me until the end of the video because you're gonna be shocked at just how simple and easy this solution is. And the best part is that it's absolutely free. Pretty much all businesses use spreadsheets, whether that's Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. So particularly if you're a small to medium sized business, it's very likely that spreadsheets are your main way of tracking sales performance. So one day in the future, you may plan on graduating to a more sophisticated CRM system like Salesforce or HubSpot, but for the time being, that is probably just not a priority. And the reason it's not a priority is because when it comes to tracking and analyzing your sales performance, spreadsheets, they may not be pretty, but they, they do everything that we need them to do. However, there is one massive downside to both Google Sheets and Excel, and that's data visualization. Because when it comes to visualizing your KPIs, spreadsheets are just not a good tool for helping people quickly and easily understand what's going on. Which information is most important? Which KPIs have moved up and down? How do these KPIs relate to last month or the month before? Does anything within the spreadsheet require urgent attention? Now, this is where most sales directors would recognize they would benefit from a dashboard. Some kind of visual interface which very easily allows people to understand what's going on with the data without needing to dig into the data itself. And when people investigate how to do this, they're normally presented with one of two solutions. Number one, use a BI tool, or number two, build the dashboard within the spreadsheet. So let's take a brief look at these two options. Business intelligence tools, or BI tools as they're called. You may have heard of tools like Power BI or Tableau. These are incredibly powerful tools which allow you to visualize your data in all kinds of different ways. The problem with these tools is that really they're designed for bigger organizations who are working with a lot of data. And that means A, pricing can become very expensive very quickly, and B, it does take a long amount of time to learn how to use these tools properly. Power BI, for example, takes about four to six weeks of learning time to really get going with the product. Now, most sales directors do not have four to six weeks spare to learn how to use a dashboard tool. Now, if you're going to want to do this from scratch, learning how to build visualizations within Excel is still a skill you're gonna to have to spend some time learning how to do. However, at least with Excel, there are pre-built templates online which you can download most of the time for free. Now, I've downloaded um, a few templates which you can see here from, from different sources, but let's face it, they don't look very visually attractive. They're kind of clunky. If you wanna be able to move things around or change the visualizations, it's not gonna be easy to do. You're kind of stuck with what you've got. Not to mention the dashboard is still in the document. If you want people to look at this, you're gonna to have to send them regular email updates. You're gonna to have to attach it as a file. You're gonna to have to kind of nag them to kind of come in and look at my dashboard and look how our KPIs are doing. Um, it, it's just, it's not a great solution. Now, this is the point where a lot of, a lot of people kind of give up. They say, you know, maybe this is more trouble than it's worth. But there is another way. Because what a lot of people don't realize is there are tools out there that specialize in creating live dashboards without any of the fuss or the cost or the difficulty of BI tools. So today I'm gonna to be using a tool called Gecko Board. Now Gecko Board is super easy to use and it integrates brilliantly with both Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. And the best part is Gecko Board has a free plan for spreadsheet integrations. Um, so if you're just looking to integrate one spreadsheet and create a dashboard, um, this is gonna be absolutely free. It's not gonna cost you anything and it's gonna take about 15 to 30 minutes to set up. So let's go and find out how. Okay, so here we have uh, my basic sales information, uh, which I'd like to be able to visualize. I'm working off a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And what we have here, we have a few tabs. Um, so we've got our sales information in our sales records. And this is kind of information on sales which have completed, as well as a tab on opportunities which have yet to complete. Um, and we've got uh, a basic tab here for 
our KPIs. So this is pulling through the information which we'd like to visualize. Um, and what do we have here? So we have um, some information on invoices. So this is for work which has already been completed and we've sent the invoice and we can expect a payment. Um, and we've got some information on orders. So this is work that has been um, been ordered but not yet completed and so therefore not invoiced. So there's a slight lag between these two um, KPIs but I want to be able to track both of them um, all the same. As well we've got a little section here on opportunities including um, how many opportunities are at 90% which we can expect to convert soon as well as opportunities that have been created new this month, this year, and again, some comparisons to last year. So this gives me a very basic overview of my pipeline. Finally, we have some performance on how the different brands are selling. So we have, we're selling four different brands at this company, and this gives us some sales information on which brands are performing best. So this is the information I'd like to be able to visualize. So what I'm gonna do now is just head over to Gecko Board and get myself set up with a free account. I don't need to sign up because I already have an account, uh, but you would obviously need to sign up. Um, super simple sign up process. I'm just gonna log into my account and then this is what we're greeted with. So this is our basic dashboard and this is what we're gonna be working with and it's super simple to use. And this is how we're going to be kind of putting together our data visualization. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a widget. This is going to prompt me to add a, a data source. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different options here from Google Analytics to Zendesk to Salesforce to HubSpot. Um, today, we're just going to be looking at Microsoft Excel. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to click that data source right here. And what this is going to ask me to do is just connect to the uh, spreadsheet. Um, so I'm going to be using um, OneDrive to connect my um, spreadsheet, but you can also connect via Google Drive, via Dropbox. You can create a direct link. And the benefit of this is that your dashboard is going to be continuously and periodically refreshing automatically. So you might be thinking, how do I refresh the information on my dashboard? Do I need to do that manually? No, your dashboard is going to refresh automatically. Um, so I'm just going to click on the spreadsheet which I've been working with, which is our sales info spreadsheet. And this is just going to bring up the spreadsheet which we were just looking at. So if you want to move between tabs, you can do. But I've got all the KPI information I need on this first page here. Um, so I'm going to firstly create a data visualization for how I'm doing um, for the year to date, for the year overall. So I'm just going to create a super simple visualization and click on the number here, 6.7 million. This is how we're doing this year. I'm going to add some formatting just so we know that this is, that this is in dollars and I'm going to add this to the dashboard. And it's as simple as that. I've got my first kind of live visualization. Um, I think I'd like to add a little bit of context to this. Um, I'm going to add a comparison, which is, uh, in this case, I'm going to add a goal. And I've got the goal right here. This is our $7 million target for the year. Just going to click that right there. And as you can see, we're at 95%. Um, so if I just save that, got a nice, simple to understand visualization for how we're doing um, for the year. Um, I think I'd also like to see uh, how we're doing month by month as well. So again, I'm going to go back into my spreadsheet um, and I'm going to select um, the month by month KPI information so we can see how we're doing there. And all we need to do is just drag across the relevant cells, create a visualization. This time we're going to create maybe a, we could create a line chart, but I think in this case I, I prefer column chart. Um, that, that probably displays the information in the, in the way I'd like to. Uh, and we're just going to hit continue. Again, going to add some formatting so I know we're working in, in dollars. And we are going to add this into our dashboard. So here we have information on both how we're doing for the year overall, as well as some month by month information. Um, I'm going to group these because it, it really is speaking to the same basic KPI, which is our invoices. So you can see how easy it is just to kind of pull this dashboard together and group it in the way you want it to. Um, so I'm just gonna move this out a little bit here, uh, make it nice and big. And I'm gonna name the group um, invoices. And I'm just gonna let people know that this is the year to date number. Um, and people can see that this is a month by month breakdown um, from the years and the X axis. Okay, so I think I want to change that to um, 1 million as well, just so it's a little bit cleaner. 
um, so people can see. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. So that is um, basically all there is to it. Uh, I'm just going to put together the rest of this dashboard now so you can see it, but no reason for me to talk you through every step. As you can see, it's nice and easy to do. So I'll be back in just, just a few seconds after I've completed this dashboard. Okay, so you can see we've got a full dashboard here. It took basically no time to create. Um, we've got information on invoices, total targets, month by month, um, as well as information on invoices by brand. And we've got information on the orders, the total order book. Um, we've got you know, how we're doing orders month by month, as well as current pipeline. So the amount of opportunities at 90%, as well as the value, uh, the opportunities created this month, um, and the value and the opportunities created this year versus how we were doing um, last year. So I might just add in a final little comparison here. Okay, so there's some other cool stuff you can do. Um, so you can add uh, status indicators to give a little warning. Um, so say we say we wanted to get a little warning if this um, dropped below a certain number, we could do that. So anything below 1.5 million is something we want to be able to flag up. And you can see that now that's nice and clear on the dashboard. So it tells you what information is important and what requires urgent attention. So the final thing to do is just to name my dashboard. So I'm going to call this uh, my sales dashboard and as, and share it. So um, there's some options to share this dashboard. We can create a sharing link, uh, which is allows us to kind of share this dashboard with colleagues. And we can also set up some scheduled emails. So people can receive this email every day, if you wish, every week. Um, you can do the same for Slack. For people working within um, offices who maybe have a TV on the wall, it is super easy um, to send this dashboard to a TV. Um, so there's some quite easy ways to do that, to be able to kind of display this dashboard live on a TV so absolutely nobody can kind of miss what's going on. No more looking in Excel spreadsheets at bad looking dashboards. This is so much better. So there we go, a much, much easier option for creating sales dashboards. Easier than BI tools, easier than Excel, none of that hassle. Go over to geckoboard.com, um, set up an account, try it out, start creating some dashboards, start connecting your data, see if this is a tool that works for you. It might save you a lot of effort, and particularly for people who've got frustrated with this type of process in the past, um, GeckoBoard has been a breath of fresh air. Um, so if you've got any questions at all about Gecko Board, about sales dashboards, about data visualization, please do drop those in comments and I'll be delighted to get back to you. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please drop us a like, uh, please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you again. Ooh.